what's going on guys it's your boy ricky back with another video i am here today in my office and we are back with another episode of how to get into sports photography with my main man travis pendergrass recently i had some time to sit down with him and go over his story of how he got into sports photography and what he does and who he works for if you like these videos go ahead and give me a thumbs up right now and also Give me some suggestions down in the comment section on other videos like this that we can do to bring you the content that you want. I get a lot of questions about the sports industry and how to do different things. Give us some suggestions down in the comments so we'll know what type of content to bring to you guys. If this is your first time at the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you will be notified when we come out with new content. Without further ado, here's my man, Travis Pendergrass. My name is Travis Pendergrass. I am the sports photographer for USF Athletics. I cover all 21 teams, uh, so that's male and female sports at the University of South Florida. I travel with the football team. So uh, USF is my primary full-time position. I also do freelance photography for Zuma Press, where I cover the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Tampa Bay area here in Florida. I got into sports photography when I wanted to highlight and photograph my kids. So my first camera I purchased was a Nikon D90. I quickly learned that photography, sports photography was equipment based and the D90 was not going to do it for me. So I eventually made a switch from Nikon to Canon took up some photography courses, interned with the company, and that's how I came about working with USF. Highlight of my career is going to be uh, the first time one of my images was published in Sports Illustrated. That was December 2017 issue. It was the Injury uh, Magazine. So basically I captured Odell Beckham and when he broke his finger. Uh, it was actually an image that I wasn't even gonna put on the wire, wire service and I just happened to and it kind of went all over the internet and then I seen it in the following issue, following month in Sports Illustrated. So advice would be do your research, know photography, invest in your equipment, invest in yourself. Uh, one piece of advice I would give to anybody that wants to be a sports shooter is to research and invest in your equipment. Look up the photographers in your area, the professional pro shooters in your area, and reach out to them. Don't be scared to reach out to them. The people that are successful want to see other people underneath them become successful as well. A lot of the shooters to my left and my right, the guys that I shoot with, they're more than willing to help out somebody that's up and coming. Anybody that wants to shoot with the wire service, the one piece of advice that I would give is be persistent. The first time I applied to a couple different wire services, I was turned down. The next year I was contacted and I was invited to shoot for the wire service that I shoot for. So just make sure you have a strong portfolio and be persistent. Email the wire services that you want to shoot for. So one piece of advice that I would like to give um, just to add on is something that I learned along the way. What is um, sports photography? And you have to understand it's one third skill, one third luck, and then one third equipment. So just knowing that it's you can have all the skill in the world, but you're not going to get the shot that you want all the time. That's when luck comes into it. Is that ball coming in your direction? Is the play coming in your direction? And then you have to understand with sports photography, you're only going to be as good as your equipment. So invest in your lenses, your fast lenses, uh, your bodies, get the correct bodies. And in order to be a good professional pro shooter, that's what you're going to want to know. 